Welcome back. We're here looking at the energy market. And this is going to be my weekly forecast for Monday, April 11, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in your corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're also welcome to join us over Patreon if you want to see all of my trades. So we'll start by looking at the crude oil and we'll look at the weekly chart first and then we'll look at the monthly in order to see the long term um, uh, price action for uh, for for WTI oil. And as you can see for the weekly, we hit a uh, high here uh, uh, for four weeks ago of 130 30, and since then we have been dropping significantly. It's trading at the current stage at the, at 97.73 and it doesn't look like there's going to be a rally at this current stage. Usually when the market gets this overstretched, it tends to snap back. And the last time we did that was right here and we snapped all the way down to the 50 moving average. Same goes for here, all the way down to the very bottom or the 50 moving average and here down towards the 200 moving average. So we also saw it right here. Uh, this was prior to the coronavirus back in 2020 and of course this uh, parabolical move to the downside uh, was due to the world economy shutting down and oversupply and so on but it also happens to the downside when it gets overstretched it tends to snap to the upside so at this current stage if if historical trends are anything to go by then this should at least drop to the middle of the bullish band, which is at 88, then towards the 50 moving average, which is at the 79 at the moment, and in probably best case scenario, all the way down towards the 200 moving average, which is roughly at the $60. If we look at, we look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is about to cross the signal line in the weekly chart, and that will have, uh, that is basically a major uh, trend change for the near future. Stochastic is already uh, very negative and so is the RSI, leaving a lot of room to the downside. If we look at the monthly chart, we can see that this move here was absolutely parabolical, very similar to the move to the downside. This of course was more extreme, but even though when we get to these extreme moves above the Bollinger Band, it tends to snap quite aggressively to the downside. So here, weekly uh, or 200 moving average in the monthly chart is at 72 and the 50 moving average at, at this uh, at 59. If we drop all the way down to the bottom of the bullish band, which it tends to do when we get this um, these parabolic moves to the upside or the downside, then it could drop all the way down towards uh, the bottom of the bullish band, which is at the 32 at this current stage. So this is the monthly chart. And of course, this is the very long run. And this could be a foreshadow of the world economy going forward as the demand, demand for, for energy will drop off if we have a slowdown in the world economy and then we will definitely see uh, what we saw back in 2008 and so on that we would drop from very high levels of roughly 130 140 all the way down to 30 dollars uh, a barrel if you look at uh, Technical indicator support of monthly, we can see that MACD is still bullish, stochastic is very bearish, and the RSI was on overbought um, conditions in the monthly chart and is turning around now. And that could be a sign that in the long run, we will see oil dropping. However, if we bounce from, if we bounce from the 200 moving average, then we could see much higher levels. So let's go and look at natural gas. So this is the weekly weekly for natural gas and also here it has gone absolutely parabolical and it's very similar for natural gas as it is for a crude oil when it tends to get way outside of the bullish band as it did here also here it tends to snap back and in recent times it has snapped back towards the 50 moving average and if we do that then we are looking at a drop towards a 4.3 that's where we found support the last time. And we basically have to break that in order to go to the 200 moving average, which is roughly $3. If you look at technical indicators for the weekly chart, you can see, see that uh, we can see that MACD is still bullish. Stochastic is still bullish. MRSI is also bullish, but it's approaching overbought territory. So 
we may see another week probably two where prices hang around here and if they don't manage to break above this candlestick and then we may see this tumble uh, quite aggressively to the downside very similar to what we saw only uh, back in this was back in november or october last year when we had this major rally to the upside roughly at 6.4 so conditions uh, of course there's a uh, there's a cold snap in north america, america at this current stage that is uh, affecting the price and also the war in europe is also affecting the price but as soon as one of those factors will really relatively soon change into good weather then that man will demand will definitely uh, fall and we may see this tumble very aggressively similar to what we saw here in october november and also what we saw in crude oil recently if you look at the weekly uh, the monthly for for uh, for natural gas we can see that the uh, macd is still bullish stochastic is also bullish and rsi is bullish so long term for natural gas here is still very bullish and we haven't even gotten close to the all-time highs of course this was a different world where you didn't have uh, the technology that you have today so so um, so getting to these levels there has to change something extraordinary um, in demand, demand or supply has to completely evaporate and i don't really see that uh, happening anytime soon but a pullback that is kind of something that i do expect for the next three to probably four or five months as we get into warmer um, um, warmer months and demand will basically fade for this market so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support your channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell button to see our news videos and you're welcome to join us over patreon good luck again thank you very much